Hello, and welcome to today's Wild Beast Chronicle about the bears. A beast that is, and has been, iconic to humans throughout our whole existence. A true symbol of strength and honor. Every culture that has come in contact with them has been left with a distinct and fearsome impression lasting to this day. Bears are fascinating carnivoran mammals belonging to the family Ursidae, which are categorized as caniforms, a group of dog-like carnivorans. Despite the existence of only eight bear species, they are remarkably adaptable, inhabiting a wide range of ecosystems across most of the Northern Hemisphere and partly in the Southern Hemisphere. Bears can be found on the continents of North America, South America, and Eurasia. Common characteristics of modern bears include their large bodies, sturdy legs, elongated snouts, small rounded ears, shaggy fur, plantigrade paws equipped with five non-retractable claws, and short tails. While polar bears are predominantly carnivorous and giant pandas mainly herbivorous, the remaining six species are omnivores with diverse diets. With the exception of mating pairs and mothers with their cubs, bears are typically solitary creatures. They can be active during the day or night and possess an exceptional sense of smell. Despite their robust build and somewhat clumsy appearance, bears are proficient runners, climbers, and swimmers. They often utilize natural shelters like caves and logs as dens, with most species entering a prolonged period of hibernation during the winter, lasting up to 100 days. Throughout history, bears have been hunted for their meat and fur. They have also been subjected to cruel practices, such as bear baiting and forced dancing for entertainment. Due to their imposing physical presence, bears hold a significant place in the arts, mythology, and various cultural aspects of human societies. In modern times, bears face threats from habitat encroachment and illegal trade in bear parts, including the Asian bile bear market. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, classifies six bear species as vulnerable or endangered, and even those listed as least concern, like the brown bear, are at risk of extirpation in certain regions. Although there are regulations against poaching and international trade of these endangered populations, these activities continue. Etymology The English term bear finds its roots in Old English bearer and belongs to a family of names for bears in Germanic languages, like Swedish Björn, which is also used as a first name. The conventional interpretation suggests a link to a Proto-Indo-European word for brown, implying that bear means the brown one. However, some linguists argue that a word meaning brown in this form cannot be traced back to Proto-Indo-European. Instead, it's proposed that bear derives from the Proto-Indo-European word guer, guer, signifying wild animal. This terminology for the animal originated as a taboo avoidance term. Proto-Germanic tribes replaced their original word for bear, arcto, with this euphemistic expression out of fear that speaking the animal's true name might summon it. According to author Ralph Keyes, this is the oldest known euphemism. Bear taxonomic names such as Arctoidea and Helarctos originate from the ancient Greek Arctos, Arctos meaning bear. This connection extends to terms like Arctic and Antarctic through the name of the constellation Ursa Major, known as the Great Bear, and prominent in the northern sky. Bear taxonomic names such as Ursidae and Ursus are derived from Latin Ursus Ursa, which refer to he-bear and she-bear, respectively. The female first name Ursula, originally derived from a Christian saint's name, means little she-bear, which is a diminutive form of the Latin Ursa. In Switzerland, the male first name Urs is especially popular, while the name of the canton and city of Bern is legendarily derived from bear, the German word for bear. The Germanic name Bernard, including variations like Bernhard, means bear brave, bear hardy, or bold bear. The Old English name Beowulf is a kenning, Beowulf, for bear, signifying a brave warrior. Taxonomy. The family Ursidae is one of nine families within the suborder Caniformia, a group of dog-like carnivorans belonging to the order Carnivora. Bears' closest living relatives include pinnipeds, seals, sea lions, canids, dogs, wolves, and mustaloids, ferrets, weasels. 
Some scholars previously argued that bears are directly derived from canids and shouldn't be classified as a separate family. Modern bears consist of eight species distributed among three subfamilies. Ailuropodinae, comprising only the giant panda, Tremactinae, with the spectaclid bear, and Ursinae, including six species divided into one to three genera, depending on the authority. Nuclear chromosome analysis reveals that the carrier type of the six ursine bears is nearly identical, each having 74 chromosomes. In contrast, the giant panda has 42 chromosomes, and the spectacled bear has 52 chromosomes. These variations can be explained by the fusing of some chromosomes, and the banding patterns on these chromosomes resemble those of the ursine species, but differ from those of prokionids, supporting the inclusion of the giant panda and the spectacled bear in Ursidae rather than in Procyonidae, as previously suggested. Evolution The earliest members of Ursidae belong to the extinct subfamily Amphicinodontinae, which includes Parictis, late Eocene to early Middle Miocene, and the slightly younger Alochion, early Oligocene, both found in North America. These ancient bears looked quite distinct from contemporary bears, resembling small, raccoon-like creatures with diets potentially similar to badgers. Perictis doesn't appear in Eurasia and Africa until the Miocene. There is some debate about whether late Eocene ursids were also present in Eurasia, although it's possible that faunal exchange across the Bering Land Bridge was feasible during a significant sea level drop, which occurred as early as the late Eocene. European genera, with a striking resemblance to Alochon, as well as the much younger American Colponomos, are known from the Oligocene, including Amphictyceps and Amphicynodon. Various morphological evidence links Amphicynodontines with pinnipeds, as both groups were semi-aquatic, otter-like mammals. Additionally, some morphological and molecular evidence supports bears as the closest living relatives to pinnipeds. The oldest known member of the subfamily, Hemitsioninae, Cephalogal, resembled a raccoon in size and dog-like in appearance, originating during the Middle Oligocene in Eurasia around 30 million years ago. This subfamily includes younger genera like Phoborosion, 2015 million years ago, and Plithosion, 15 7 million years ago. A species akin to Cephalogal led to the genus Ursavus during the early Oligocene, 30 28 million years ago, which proliferated into numerous species in Asia and is ancestral to all living bears. Ursavus species subsequently migrated to North America along with Amphicinodon and Cephalog Ayla during the early Miocene, 21 18 million years ago. The living bear lineages diverged from Ursavus between 15 and 20 million years ago, likely through the species Ursavus elmensis. According to genetic and morphological data, the Ailuropodinae pandas were the first to diverge from other living bears approximately 19 million years ago, although no fossils of this group have been found before about 11 million years ago. The New World short-faced bears, Tremarctinae, separated from Ursinae after migrating to North America during the mid-Miocene, approximately 13 million years ago. They later expanded into South America, roughly 2.5 to 1.2 million years ago, following the formation of the Isthmus of Panama. The earliest known fossil representative of Tremarctinae is Pleonarctos in North America, dating back to around 10 to 2 million years ago. This genus is likely the direct ancestor of the North American short-faced bears, genus Arctodus. The South American short-faced bears, Arctotherium, and the spectacled bears, Tremarctos, represented by both an extinct North American species, T. floridanus, and the sole surviving member of the Tremarctinae, the South American spectacled bear, T. ornatus. The subfamily Ursini experienced a significant proliferation of taxa around 5.3 to 4.5 million years ago, coinciding with major environmental changes. The first members of the genus Ursus appeared during this period. The sloth bear is a modern survivor of one of the earliest lineages to diverge during this radiation event around 5.3 million years ago. Its distinctive morphology, related to its diet of termites and ants, emerged no later than the early Pleistocene. By three to four million years ago, Ursus minimus entered the fossil record of Europe. Apart from size differences, 
it closely resembled the contemporary Asian black bear. This species likely represents the common ancestor of all bears within Ursinae, excluding the sloth bear. Two lineages evolved from U. minimus, the black bears, including the sun bear, the Asian black bear, and the American black bear, and the brown bears, which include the polar bear. Modern brown bears evolved from U. minimus through Ursus etruscus, which itself is the precursor to the extinct Pleistocene cave bear. Ursinae species have repeatedly migrated from Eurasia to North America, dating as far back as 4 million years ago, during the early Pliocene. The polar bear is the most recently evolved species and descended from a population of brown bears that became isolated in northern latitudes due to glaciation around 400,000 years ago. If there is a species you would like us to cover, let us know down in the comments. Here are seven interesting facts about bears. Fact 1. Variety of vocalizations. Bears communicate with an impressive array of vocalizations, each serving specific purposes. Growls are often used to signal aggression or territorial disputes. Roars are typically associated with courtship rituals, while huffing and grunting may express discomfort or annoyance. Mothers also use unique vocalizations to communicate with their cubs, fostering a bond essential for survival. Fact 2. Unique hibernation abilities. Bear hibernation is a remarkable adaptation to harsh winter conditions. During hibernation, a bear's heart rate and body temperature drop significantly. Female bears even give birth while in this state, as the cubs are born in a relatively undeveloped state, making them easier to care for during hibernation. This energy-saving strategy allows bears to endure months without food or water. Fact 3. Excellent swimmers. Contrary to the common image of bears being land dwellers, many bear species are proficient swimmers. Polar bears are particularly adept in the water and are known to swim long distances between ice flows in search of seals, their primary prey. Brown bears, like the grizzly bear, are also comfortable in the water and may swim to catch fish or travel between habitats. Fact 4. Intelligence and problem-solving skills. Bears are renowned for their cognitive abilities. They are curious creatures and can learn from their surroundings, making them excellent problem solvers. In captivity, they've been known to unlock doors and manipulate objects to obtain food. In the wild, their intelligence aids them in finding and securing diverse food sources, which contributes to their adaptability. We're Wild Beast Chronicles, a YouTube channel passionate about sharing captivating and educational videos about wildlife. Our mission is to inspire viewers to appreciate and protect the beauty of the animal kingdom. Your support through likes, shares and subscriptions motivates us to continue producing high quality content. Please share your feedback in the comments and join us on our exciting journey to explore the world of wild animals. Thanks for being a part of our community. Fact 5. Keen sense of smell. A bear's sense of smell is truly exceptional. It's estimated to be seven times more sensitive than that of a bloodhound, making them some of the best scent detectors in the animal kingdom. This heightened olfactory sense allows them to detect scents from great distances, helping them locate food sources, even buried ones, and identify potential threats. Fact 6. Diverse diet. While some bear species have evolved to specialize in certain types of food, such as bamboo for giant pandas or fish for grizzly bears, most bears are opportunistic feeders. They have a diverse diet that can include vegetation, berries, insects, small mammals, and even larger prey like deer or moose. This adaptability is a key factor in their ability to survive in a variety of ecosystems. Fact 7. Coloration. Variations. The coloration of bears varies widely among species and individuals. Brown and black bears are common, with varying shades, including blonde and cinnamon. Polar bears, specialized for Arctic environments, are mostly white, which provides effective camouflage on sea ice. These color variations are often influenced by the bear's habitat, genetics, 
and the presence of certain pigments. While coloration might have some impact on thermoregulation and camouflage, it's important to note that the relationship between color and these factors can be complex and multifaceted. Thank you for watching this video on the wild bears. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other upcoming videos or our previous work in the Wild Beast Chronicles series, where we delve deeper into the fascinating world of the world's most magnificent animals.